Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, y'all? I honestly have. I'm not gonna hold you guys. This show had its flaws and its ups and downs, like all the shows that I usually watch. But this show. <laughs> actually really did touch me at the end and then they just kind of took it away they're like here you go this is a very very powerful sad sacrifice and now it's not a sacrifice anymore <laughs> i was like okay you know that's that's all right at least she's everybody's happy it's one of those anime endings that doesn't always happen but it's possible of happening where Good things actually happen to everybody, right? Um, sometimes some people don't get to see what those things are at the end of the day. But to be fair, he was gone for two or three years. And I'm talking about the boss after the giant boss fight he put on this week's episode. And just trying to save everybody, especially the one bug that he truly thinks deserves to be on this earth more than anyone else and I gotta say I uh, was pretty impressed that this show kept me entertained even though I, I can't stand CGI the monsters were mainly always CGI the big ones anyway and I was like I like these characters and I like the world building so much this doesn't bother me <laughs> like I want to see more I want to know more um, and now that it's come to this conclusion where the whole entire decada is broken down and it's turned into a city, I pretty much couldn't imagine anything else outside of, you know, the robots all collectively, you know, dying or f fighting until the very end for the humans. But even then, that seemed very, very grim uh, for those robots. And... I don't really know if we can take this as canon or take it as full truth, but they did say there's somewhat of an awakening, uh, or like a new, a nuance to come, right? And what I said in my last video was that the whole world was in conference in this, uh, little bubble, but it, that is not the case. Clearly only thing that's in this case is about like a 15% 15, 15 of the world and they were just trapped in there but like I was saying we don't know what the heck's out there right we don't know if there's poison in the atmosphere we don't know if there's other planets that these types of you know cyborgs have taken over and done the same thing to because all it seems like is they showed up uh, after us humans supposedly destroyed our cities and whatnot, and then they made it so there was a way that we could live better and fight together. Uh, so they gave us like a common enemy, so we would stop taking each other out. And that's kind of where my thought process goes when it, another season could happen. Is what happens when all that foundation is taken away? Do these people stray from the path? Or do they go right back to doing the same thing they were already doing to destroy the city in the first place and go back to square one? So I'm really interested in hearing more about it. I did see that there was like an interview with the creator. So I am interested to see if he has uh, plans sooner than later uh, for another season. Or if this time skip and everything we see within this three year gap it's just that like it's just something they want to show us and be like hey it's good and that's it so with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i am your boy the anime g and i'm about to make one more video for y'all so i hope you enjoy it take care and peace Ooh. grab him grab him